What up, Upper Supper, baby? What's going on? How's it going, everybody? Um, just down here in the snake room doing some cleaning, and I noticed one of my uh, snake bands wasn't heating good. So I checked the levels, the heat, the heat levels on it, and everything, and uh, it's not good. So this is an old, old um, ARS rack that I had bought from my friend. So I wanted to do a video of me replacing the heat tape and everything, just in case there's some people out there that don't know how to do that. Um, so here's me. Um, it's an old metal one, the old school. Yes, sir. Um, got the steel. Here's the new one with the plastic. If you guys don't know, most people probably already do, but just in case. Um, any new people coming in, you know, got the Herpostat 2 and a uh, Vivarium. Um, running these three tubs for my bloods. I have a couple bloods in there so they don't need to get as hot as the ball pythons. But anyway, that's another video for another, another day. Um, but these two are not heating right. Um, they're real simple to replace if you guys need to replace them. Um, I already took that one apart, but I'll show you guys. I left this one here to demonstrate. I mean, they're easy to pop up, you guys. Most people, if you assemble them, they're easy to, to do. I already unplugged it from the other side, so it's gonna pull it all the way through. Um, but this is how it looks. I'll probably just reuse the cord. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the cord, um, but I will replace uh, the heat tape. All right. All right guys, here we go. We're back. This was already taken apart, so it doesn't take too long. So here's the insulation. Um, this is the new heat tape. I threw the old heat tape out already, um, but I was looking at the year and it was like 1994, 95. Um, I was like, oh shoot, that stuff's getting super old. Uh, but let me, let me set this one off. I wanna see if I can see it again. Uh, well, this one doesn't say it, but that was pretty easy. All right, anyway, um, so. Why we need the heat gun, we got a heat gun here. I'll give you a list of what you guys need um, to take off this glue right here, uh, make it easy so it's a nice flat surface. Uh, so, get the heat gun out, pick this baby up. Scrapers. So heat it up real good. Take this stuff off. There you go. Nice little slice. Let's get all this stuff off of there. And 
And it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get it off. And uh... So this is how you would replace pretty much any kind of heat tape on any of these ARS Freedom Breeder racks. Uh, pretty simple. You guys should probably be doing this, uh, checking your, your, heat, your heat tape probably at least, I would say at least once a month, but if not, at least every three months, because uh, they do fail. And you don't want it to overheat and you don't want it to underheat, so uh, it's always good to you know, keep temperatures, check the temperatures. Um, you know, sometimes I get last on checking my temperatures too, so, you know, I, the, I've moved over here to this new spot, so I was checking my temperatures real close to make sure that uh, everything was everything was good. Now, this does heat up pretty good, guys, so be careful when you're using the heat gun. It does heat this, this still up pretty good, it's aluminum. at it. I'm not going to use glue when I put it back down. Um, you guys are more than welcome to. I'm just going to use uh, this ducting tape. Um, it's really good. It works good with, uh, with the heat tape and everything. I've, I've used it for years. Um, Alright, there she is. I'm going to turn it off real quick, um, clean this off, and then I'll show you guys how to do the heat tape. Um, I already pre-made my holes, but uh, I'll show you guys how to do that too, just so you guys can see it. Alright, All right, hold on one second. All cleaned up and ready for the heat strip. So this is the heat tape. Okay. Um, you know the old school when you were at school, the hole punchers back in the day, hole punchers. Yep, that's what you need. Get one of these. I get everything on uh, Reptile Basics. I got this at the at a uh, Walmart. Um, so you can get all this stuff at Reptile Basics. That's where I got all of my stuff. But you don't need to buy their crimping tool. All you need is this bad boy right here. Uh. All right, all right, so here we go, here we go. Now we're gonna reuse the old wire, right? So we got some wire strips, you guys need to get some wire strips. We'll strip this wire back. Um, I needed to see because I ran out of these guys um, from the ones that I usually get from Reptile Basics. Um, and I only have enough to do one more level, but I thought I'd figure I'd do this with you guys. Um, so this is what you'll get with Reptile Basics. Um, they're little crimpers that they got. You could use alligator um, heads. I've used those two before where you just got to fill it fill the skin back a little bit and then get on to the middle of the heat tape if you wanted to do that um, but these are what you'll need um, you stick these through the little pinched hole that we just made right here so one of these goes through here like that and one of them goes on top 
but you have to put uh, this little piece in the middle first, okay? Um, I just need to see which one will fit before I do it. I didn't check. This looks like it'll fit. So it looks like that one will fit. So we have to use that one. And this one doesn't fit. Okay, so we'll use the big yellow one. All right. So we'll put these to the side for a quick second right here. Got this. We're gonna put this guy on here. Make sure that we see, let's see, can you see? There you go. All right, I think I'm All right so, yeah, you gotta just see the, the electrical wires coming through, okay? We're gonna get, get the little crimper tool that we just so, we bought for a hundred dollars, and you're just gonna crimp the shit out of it. <clears throat> good, good. Okay. Bam. She's not going nowhere. Okay. Tug on it, pull on it. Make sure it's not gonna come out. And we're gonna twist these wires. I like to twist them up real quick. So when you put them in, it's nice and easy to go in. And bam, have it pop out. Then you're gonna go back, you're gonna do the same thing. Crimp. Okay. Check it. Everything looks good. Everything's good. And then this is your ground wire. And your ground wire is gonna go back to a screw on to this right here. That's where your ground wire goes. Okay, all right, let's see, this is the fun part, let's just do one at a time, so you gotta, it doesn't matter either to um, which side um, you put the wire on, as long as you're not daisy chaining it, if you're daisy chaining it then you need to know exactly what side you're using. So let's see, you gotta find the little slit and get it in there, see? Got us. You see how I did that guys? There's a, I got in a little slit right there. So if you slide it in between, so you can't see it here, it's in between it, it's in between the back and um, the top, okay? Then you get this little screw, not a screw, but a little thimble looking one. Stick it through. Okay. So we stick the screw, we stuck the little guy there. So it's just this one. They almost look alike, but one sticks up just a little bit. Okay. Kind of hard to tell on the camera. Um, then you get the other one, put it on top. And that's where this comes in again. So get it real nice, get it centered, and then crimp it really good. You gotta crimp this one real good. <clears throat> that's why they want you to buy the tool. But look at how good that was. We don't need that stupid tool that they try to sell you, okay? If you guys wanna buy this shit, go ahead, spend your money. I just make sure it's really good, really nice and tight, really good crimped. See how nice and easy that was? So, that's how you do it. We're gonna do the other side real quick. Trying to find that middle spot. There you are. Nice and easy, nice and easy. All right, now, finally got the other side. It was a little 
being a little a-hole. So, put that back on there. Get ready to cramp. Turn it down real nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right guys, nice, nice and tight. All right, so we got that done. Move this out the way, okay. What I should have did was ran the wire back through right here, and I didn't, um, but that's fine. Um, I'm still gonna put it right here, it'll be fine. We could just run the wires down the side there. I could cut that little piece out with some tin snips. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. So I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Um, I'm gonna use that tape I was telling you about. And it's just this ducting tape. You don't really need to do the whole thing um, as long as it's nice and tacked down. But you want to do the whole thing? You know, some people don't care, some people do. I really don't care. As long as it's up there, it's not going to fall. Here we go, put that down. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to put these little pads on, onto the metal here so and it doesn't electrocute you when you touch it. <laughs> Cause it definitely could. So we definitely need to put these on, okay guys? Um, you can buy these with them and it's just a little simple bam and then close it up. Just make sure you're covering the whole the whole uh, wire and the nut and everything because um, you don't want that touching any kind of metal because it definitely will shock somebody. So that's a big step. How am I going to forget that one? I did not forget. I was playing with y'all. Alright. Well, put this one on. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy guys. Make your life easy. And then we're getting pretty much done. You know, I'm just gonna tack both sides down. So we should have put the wire through here first and then hooked up the um, heat tape. Um, but that's fine, no biggie. I'll just put it to the side like this and then run it down. I might just cut this out with some tin snips. I got some tin snips upstairs. I could probably just cut this little corner out and it'll be, it'll, it'll be all right. But all right, um, yeah, I just wanted to come show you guys this video. In case you guys need to ever replace your heat tape. I don't know if there's too many videos out here about the heat tape. And then don't forget to hook your ground up to the ground on on the plate there, okay? Um, other than that, guys, I hope this helps somebody. I hope uh, someone learned from this. I mean, check your heats, you know, guys. Make sure that you're checking your stuff. You don't want to burn your snakes and stuff like that and you make sure that they you know have the heat that they need all right guys peace 
Oh, before I piece you guys out, I forgot to tell you, don't forget to put the inflation back in. Um, it still has that sticky on it. You might be able just to let it lay down on it. Still pretty sticky. So, yeah, just don't, you don't need that on there. So, don't forget it. Call back.